in the South-South, the federal government is appealing to youth in the Niger Delta region to stop the vandalism of oil installations in that region. The Director of Operations and Communications at the Niger Delta River Rhine Protection Program made the appeal at a press conference in Abuja. He wants the people to give the initiative the support it requires so the purpose for which it was created will be achieved. In order to consolidate on the peace process initiative by Mr. President, the federal government through the Office of the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs has set up the Niger Delta River and Protection Program. The program is aimed to, in driving further the peace processes initiative by the federal government, part of which mandates of this program is to recover illegal arms and ammunition in the region, ensure adequate protection of federal government assets in the region, and curtail the in incident of illegal refineries in the region. Graciously, Mr. Tikari Tiwai Danjuma was a, has, a, has been appointed as a coordinator of the program by the federal government. Since government has expressed its willingness to correct the ills of its past that previous government had visited on our people and our region, it, it behoves on us as a people to give all necessary cooperation to make our region create a guarantee and a future for our children. Let me use this medium to call on individuals and groups in region who are in possession of illegal arms to cooperate with us to surrender their arms. And therefore, if oil installations are protected in that region, it will help with supply. So ahead of the festive season and to forestall scarcity of petroleum products, the Independent Product Marketers Association, IPMAN, have concluded arrangements for a 60 million litre tank farm for product storage and supply. After several years of factional administration, the joint community involving National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, NUPENG, the National Association of Road Transport Workers, NATO, and IPMAN at a forum in Lagos unveiled its leadership and promised to step up product supply by 76%. Most of our product is being sourced through second and third party. Things never change. We expect that with this adventure, things will change. So therefore, we, we expect that uh, NNPC should be given IPMAN members, they are product direct to their facilities, not laying claims where there is faction. Who are those factional members? Who are they? How, what is the percentage? So therefore it is just a ploy to deny IPMAN their rightful allocation so that they can give it to a second and third party for profiteering. Because if you look at what they are doing today, a depot, a truck park, um, 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 refinery and other things that is coming. In the next two, three, four years, in independent petroleum marketers, we have a functionable refinery which members of IPMA will own. So, and that's why you can see every member today has invested a huge amount of money to get to this point. We are asking an NPC to direct our products to that place. That, that is the facility that is owned by us. Now, the Standards Organization of Nigeria have sealed a steel manufacturing company in Ogua community along the Benin Sapele Expressway for producing substandard steel rods. According to the Director of Compliance, the firm, Yongjing Steel Company Limited, is guilty of irregularity and non conformance with quality practices. He explains that a dysfunctional test machine and the lack of identification marks on the company's products are some of the reasons for the closure. The uh, universal testing, te uh, tensile testing machine is as good as not having anything at all because we are not sure of the results, they are not calibrated, they are not even working. So what is it? So um, having reviewed it and the length is important. It has to be 12.0 meters for all your lengths. 11.8, 11.9 is not acceptable. The standard says 11, uh, 12.0 mm, and that is what it has to be. So today, the DG said that if we come here 
and what we saw, what my team saw in the earlier report is exactly the status. We should close down this place permanently. As you are not in production now, it cannot reopen for production until you show us evidence that you can produce high quality products for Nigerians. Earlier in the week, we told you about the police commands across the country who are launching anti-corruption crusades. Well, now the Delta State Police Command have launched their anti-corruption crusade to align with the federal government's Change Begins With Me program, in line with the directive of the Inspector General of Police. The command also unveiled a new anti-crime outfit tagged Operation Eagle Net, aimed at complementing already existing crime-fighting units in the state. The police commissioner is confident that the special training of the new outfit, coupled with a stronger stance against crime, makes them prepared to fight crime. We used to have uh, the anti-kidnapping squad, the anti-cult squad, the special anti-robbery squads. So this outfit, which we have tagged or named Operation Eagle Net Special Squad is to reinforce what those outfits are doing in the state in terms of fighting crimes and criminality. That is exactly what they are supposed to do. Uh, this outfit, they are specially trained. Uh, we have been training them for the past uh, three, four months, envisaging the donation of such uh, these vehicles. And uh, I can assure you that uh, with this outfit in place, uh, we are good to go in Delta State. Therefore, Delta State brings up the rear for this edition of News Across Nigeria, where we tell you what's happening now across the country. I'm Alumide McCauley. Thanks for watching.